Thank you for joining us on the Sports on the Joy News Prime. I'm Gary L. Smith. We begin with the story that Hearts of Oak have secured a sponsorship deal with sportswear manufacturer Umbro in an agreement which marks what is said to be one of the largest commercial deals in the club's history. The latest deal is a feather in the cup of Chief Executive Mark Noonan, who is on a mission to rebrand the former African champions. The Ghanaian powerhouse joins an exclusive list of clubs, including Everton, Huddersfield Town, Werder Bremen, and FC Nuremberg, who are being kitted by the English sportswear and football equipment supplier. Though there have been no confirmation of cash figures, we understand that it's the largest commercial deal in the club's history. Hearts of Oak Chief Executive Officer Mark Noonan said it was an incredibly exciting and important deal for the club. Quote, we are thrilled to welcome Umbro into our family, a brand with a rich history and authenticity, a premium product of high quality, cutting edge designs and a love for the beautiful game, which makes them the perfect fit for our highest ambitions. I urge Phobians everywhere to embrace and give their full support to this partnership. The Phobians marked their 107th anniversary with a 2-1 defeat to its allies on Sunday. The final countdown to this year's African Women's Championships is on, with the competition set to start on Saturday. After months of preps by the local organizing committee, as well as Team Ghana, the Black Queens can't wait for the games to begin. Former Black Queens, uh, Black Star striker Augustine Ahenfo is backing the Queens to win the competition at home, sir. Uh, I hope we can win this time around. Uh, it is also a qualifier for the World Cup. And so, if we win, okay. But if we should also qualify for the World Cup, finishing second or third, uh, we, we also have to respect that. But I pray that uh, they are able to win because of uh, the host and win syndrome that always is attached to competitions like that. Look at Equatorial Guinea, hosting the Nations Cup and getting all the way to the semi-final. So I hope we we'll all go and support them, give them the morale that they need to, to, to forge ahead. Away from football because bikers dotted around the West African sub-region embarked on a road safety ride in Accra on Sunday afternoon. The one-day event was dubbed Bikers Lives Matter. Joy Sports Asari Bidiaku followed the ride and has come through with this report. 100 bikers drawn from the various clubs in West Africa took part in a road safety awareness ride on Sunday. The team rode through some parts of a car distributing flies to drivers and other road users. From La Paz through to Medina and Adenta, the bikers educated commuters about the need to respect road traffic regulations. The awareness ride ended at the Pediasi Valley Resort of the Ebri Road. Benjamin Mensa, an Accra based biker, told George sports why he joined the campaign had an accident with my motorbike due to one reckless rider because it wasn't easy for me then I stayed in the hospital for some couple of months but by God's grace I'm able to back, bounce back on my feet and as I'm speaking to you I'm joining this awareness to tell all those out there both drivers passengers, the motorcycles, everybody out there, before you make a turn to your right or to your left, just look into your driving mirror. The person in the helmet coming, you don't know the person who is inside the helmet. It might be your brother, it might be your sister, it might be anybody else, it could be your father. Thomas Esiape Jr. is the brain behind the Bikers Lives Matter project. And I'm happy to say that the biking community have taken up this task and uh, also supporting the National Road Safety Commission. Uh, like I said, it's the maiden event and looking at how we've been able to pull this out, which I single-handedly did, I think that next year I will bring a few of the matured bikers together, form an association so that we can kickstart this every year because it's a good cause. Bikers Lives Matter is an initiative of renowned South African biker Jay Blackhawk. In other sports, the 2018 edition of the West Africa Zone 2 and the 18 triathlon championships came off at the University of Ghana on Saturday. Foster Dwevi and Kiara Bita emerged winners of the boys and girls categories, respectively. 
Triathlon is a multi-sport race with three continuous and sequential endurance races. While variations of the sport exist, the most common form includes swimming, cycling and running over various distances. Triathletes compete for the fastest overall course completion. The 2018 edition of the West Africa Zone 2 Triathlon Championship came off at the University of Ghana on Saturday. Over 33 children below the age of 18 competed in the one-day event. Prince Berfi finished third in the boys' category, while Christian Ninote emerged the first runner-up. For Sadovi was crowned the winner after an impressive display. It's good to work hard to get what you want. You need in life. So that is for us, I just want to say, it's good to work hard, you never quit, you try to go, you never quit, and you must always listen to your coach whenever he's training you, and always maintain the skills and the mentality. Yes. But when you were coming, did you have confidence you were going to win? Yeah, I have the confidence because I trained hard for this competition. In the girls' category, Kiara Bita claimed first spot, while Jenny Van de Gritten finished second. Bar Fuseni is president of the Ghana Triathlon Federation. In every sport, without the kids or without developmental agenda or goals, you don't have future. Our future in triathlon in Ghana is in this kit. That is why we put so much efforts and resources to make sure that this kit triathlon thrive and thrive and thrive by the world. How do you see the future of triathlon? Very bright. You could see them. Very, very bright. Initially, you could see one or two, but now the things are increasing, the kids are increasing the number of adults is also increasing. So what we can only say is that Ghanaians should support us. Ghanaians should embrace this lovely force. Later on in the football show at 10.30, our headline uh, story we'll be looking at is this one. On MajorLine.com, Kujua Samoa is out of the Ethiopia clash that will be played this weekend in the Afghan qualifier. He says that he's having continuing problems with his knee we look at the squad that Chris Yapia has named. It's official today as well. And then we uh, give an assessment of how they look. And that's it for the sport for now. I'm